Good morning, Joey Only here from Wells, British Columbia with another weather look at this magnificently insane storm setup that's going on. It's already begun in the United States. There's been some tornado warnings already this morning, though I don't think anything's touched down. I did see some real straight line winds blasting out of the storm in Illinois this morning while watching on Radar Scope, the uh, my main radar app that I purchased. Um, right now, Canada, here's an update as to what I was saying yesterday. Basically, everything that I said was mostly hasn't changed much, except we have uh, now everything upgraded to watches and warnings instead of special weather statements. So we have a larger idea what's going to go on. And if you can believe it, this swath from uh, near Brandon all the way to uh, St. Lawrence River here, that's 2,200 kilometers, 2,150 or so. So that's a wide, and if you include all the way out to um, the very far east coast of Nova Scotia, that's 2,800 kilometers of Canada now under watches and warnings for this storm that's coming. Winter storm warnings in Manitoba, so that's nice that it's not uh, blizzard warnings which is still yet a possibility. Significant late season Colorado low impacting southern Manitoba, 15 to 25 centimeters of heavy snow, strong winds. This begins today, Tuesday afternoon, begins to fall over southern Manitoba and continues to Thursday morning. Greatest accumulations fall over the extreme southeastern portions of the province with totals on the order of 20 to 25 centimeters. Snowfall, storm accumulations will decrease to the west and northwest with Red River Valley seeing 10 to 15 centimeters of snow in western Manitoba looking at a 5 to 10 centimeters of snow. This isn't really good for the long-range flood outlook for Manitoba. More snow is not what they want up that any of those valleys. Of course, additional concern for Red River Valley in southwestern Manitoba. Winds begin to adjust up to 70, gust up to 70 kilometers an hour. Visibility is rapidly decreased and blowing snow late overnight Tuesday into Wednesday afternoon. Portions of Lake Manitoba along Red River Escarpment may see particularly bad conditions with strong northerly winds funneling along the geography and may warrant an upgrade to blizzard warning. Uh-oh. Conditions will improve through the day on Thursday as the Colorado low pulls out of the region to the east and a higher ridge of pressure builds in the west. The winter storm watch for areas north of there. The confidence is increasing that Red River Valley in southeastern Manitoba will be impacted by a major spring snowstorm this week. Warnings have been issued. There remains uncertainty in the northern and western regions that will be impacted by the system. The major concern is heavy snow uh, accumulating rapidly as well as strong northerly winds producing visibilities and blowing snow. Above seasonal temperatures may be coming in time for the weekend. In northern Ontario, winter storm watch there with 15 to 25 centimeters possible, blowing snow 60 kilometers an hour. That begins Wednesday morning for you. Uncertainty remains regarding the track of the system, which could change snowfall amounts. We do have snowfall warnings totally in effect, though, for all this north of Lake Superior country. Uh, this one says 15 to 25 centimeters peak rates so of 2 to 3 centimeters per hour, so pretty good. But when you consider the 70 kilometer hour blowing snow, that's going to make snow pile up in places uh, very, very fast into the greater Thunder Bay area and north of 15 to 25 centimeters of snow there, 24 centimeters per hour, coming a little faster, 70 kilometer hour winds. Beginning this evening, it will taper off Wednesday night. This snow will likely be mixed with ice pellets and freezing rain. That could lower snowfall amounts. Heaviest snow is expected this evening for areas near Minnesota border and Lakehead area. Regions of Lake Superior northward will see heaviest snow before dawn on Wednesday. Now, the special weather statement still remains in effect for this wide swath of northern Ontario. That's like from Wawa to Cochrane and over to Kirkland Lake by the Quebec border. That's 5 to 10 centimeters of snow and ice pellet accumulation, freezing rain with some accretion possible, uh, 60 kilometer an hour winds. This could be, uh, snow or ice pellets could be beginning tonight, transitioning to freezing rain Wednesday morning and possibly rain later on Wednesday. The Colorado low expected to track right over northwestern Ontario on Wednesday. Snow and ice pellets ahead of the system are forecast to move into northeastern Ontario tonight before transitioning to freezing rain on Wednesday. Some will see the participate. Uh, some areas may see the precipitation then change to rain later Wednesday or Wednesday night, while others may see it change back to snow. Freezing rain warning with different amounts through Ontario. So certainly if you live in any of these areas, check your local forecast and get your details so that I don't miss you. Five millimeters of freezing rain is possible. If you are in the area, say Sudbury, 
uh, towards Sault Ste. Marie. So start with a brief period of snow tonight, but it will change to rain Wednesday morning and maybe freezing rain, followed by transition to rain. Yeah, so the rain is expected to taper off Wednesday evening anyways. But you get uh, different amounts expected, especially it's more concerning if you go down near my mom's place, uh, Bancroft area. This is for you. 10 to 15 millimeters of ice accretion is possible. This could cause power outages and tree damages. So this starts overnight tonight, continues to Wednesday afternoon. Whereas closer down eastern Ontario, southern, you get 5 to 10 millimeters possible of accretion. This looks to be that main area of eastern Ontario, say Bancroft, Highlands, that's Algonquin, over to Pembroke Valley, uh, Ottawa Valley there. And then uh, slightly different expectations still in Quebec, 10 to 20 millimeters will fall their branches and electrical wires could break under the weight of ice so if you are anywhere in those areas uh, directly in the gat nose two to five millimeters at the north end and perhaps 10 to 20 millimeters could fall in the montreal area as well so that's concerning and then five to ten millimeters still sherbrooke granby those are the areas south of st lawrence river and east of Montreal, whereas you go a little bit higher up to Quebec City, that's a special weather statement where freezing rain could leave significant amounts, but they're kind of waiting to give us. And same with over in the Maritimes, we know that something's going to happen. Southern and central New Brunswick, look out Wednesday evening, Thursday morning. Current guidance indicates areas southern and central New Brunswick are most likely to see longest duration of the freezing precipitation. As this system develops, though, we'll have more information. And over in Nova Scotia, we get pretty much the same forecast we just had in New Brunswick. Potentially significant period of ice pellets and freezing rain expected to affect beginning Wednesday evening into Thursday morning. Current guidance indicates areas of central and northern mainland Nova Scotia are most likely to see the longest duration of freezing precipitation. As the system develops, more areas will be affected. So this is the story already. So we know that there's significant uh, risk to millions of people in Canada coming up over the next bunch of days. We know that there's significant tornado risk to millions of people in the United States. Some of that is going to spill into Southern Ontario. We will be watching for it. And if severe storms uh, develop and are issued, severe storm warnings, I'm sure if I'm available, I will go live and try my best to guide everyone through what we're seeing. Meanwhile, if you are in the United States, if you live in Arizona today, there's a wide swath down there that is under extreme wildfire advisory. So the winds are picking up and the warm weather and the dry is down there. And that's all just part of the big uh, mess of ingredients that's making this insane weather story that we are now in the midst of. So everyone be safe, be prepared, and I'll have more information for you as we have it. Okay, bye now.